the university that you go to will impact your ability to get an entry-level actuarial job. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing why that is and what you can do to deal with it. So if that interests you, just keep watching. Hello, aspiring actuaries. If we haven't met before, my name is Michelle. This is Actuariel, my actuary YouTube channel. And my dreams of being an actuarial influencer are expanding because I have actually created an Actuariel Instagram account. So go check it out at Actuariel. Say hello, follow me, slide into my DMs, and let's get chatting on Instagram. Do still leave me many comments in the comments down below because I try to answer pretty much everyone in the comments. Thank you to all my 9,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? <sighs> 9,000 people want to hear me chat about being an actuary. All right, let's chat it up. Universities and entry-level actuarial jobs. When I say that your university impacts your ability to get an entry-level actuarial job, I don't mean that when I'm looking at two resumes, one from Harvard and one from community college, that I'm automatically going to pick the Harvard candidate. There are a few reasons why your university choice is going to impact your ability to find an actuarial job in the future. But the biggest one is whether or not they are enabling connections between you and the professional industry. I remember when I was a wee little student studying actuarial science and and all I wanted was a job. I would go to networking events, I would meet with real employees and they would say what kind of job are you looking for, what area of actuarial do you want to work in and I would say anyone who wanted to hire me. And now that I've been working full-time as an actuary for five years I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Come here, come here, come here. I'm going to you because you're a static camera. We want to hire actuarial students. As many conversations as students have amongst themselves about how do I find a job? Employers have the same number of conversations about how do we find the best candidates? Some schools are going to go above and beyond to try to enable this relationship between students and employers. And it's a symbiotic relationship. Students want jobs, employers want to hire employees. At my university, they put on career fairs. We have different companies show up and do like lunch and learns for the students. And coming from the employer's perspective, while we would love to go to every single small community college that does not have an actuarial program, that's not realistic. If you've got one person in an entire university who's even possibly considering becoming an actuary, it's not worth our time to send, you know, 10, 15, 20 employees there to meet and greet with all the students versus an actuarial school where you've got 30, 50, 150 students who are all like, yes, Actuarying is what I want to do. One of the advantages of going to an actuarial school and one of the advantages of studying actuarial science as opposed to studying some other degree is that you're asserting to employers that yes, being an actuary is what I want to do, so target me for your recruitment desires. Come to me to try to find me because I am what you want. I want to be you. You want to hire me. Let's make all this happen. Guys, I haven't made videos in so long. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The best way to find an entry-level actuarial position after you graduate is if you have already done internships. It's a great way from an employer perspective to test students out. It's a great way from the student perspective to get to try different areas of the actuarial profession. One of the best pieces of advice that I ever got in high school was from my high school physics teacher. And he said that he came back from summer vacation in university and he saw that a lot of his peers were coming back with internships or research experience, something that was really building their resume towards the career that they were working towards. English isn't his strength. Whereas he was doing generic summer job that you know he was doing as a teenager, I don't know exactly what it was, and he realized that it was very strategic of a lot of these students and so that always stayed in the back of my mind and throughout university I was doing internship, 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 internship to try to a, get my foot in the door at a company, which it worked. I still work for a company that I did internships for back, you know, in 2013. And also to try out different things. When I was looking for internships, my goal was really to try out the difference between insurance and consulting. With a broader perspective of the actuarial profession, I would say there are a few different uh, compare and contrast that I would recommend for students. One being consulting versus insurance, one being life insurance versus PNC insurance, so life, health, something like that, versus car, home insurance. As well, you could do uh, the contrast between something like pricing versus reserving or valuation. You could do the contrast between a more businessy rule versus a more data sciencey rule. A lot of the actuarial companies are having these joint actuarial data science teams where actuaries are 
pseudo data scientists coding in Python and building machine learning models. If you're coming at it from an actuary who really loves playing with data, who really loves writing code perspective, like you are so hireable right now. You are so employable. If you don't go to one of these big actuarial schools, hope is not lost. If you have not found an actuarial internship, hope is not lost. It's just going to be a little bit harder for you. You will have to make an active effort to be aware of when job postings are up. When I was in school, my actuarial department would email us job postings from the employers because they would send it to the school and the school would send it to the students. So we always knew when it was time to apply for internships or full-time positions. Whereas you might have to take that extra effort to know when those job postings are up. It might be hard for you to even know what companies hire actuaries. If you're in Canada, what I would recommend you do, go to the ASNA website. ASNA is the Actuarial Student National Association. It's literally for actuarial students in Canada. Look at the companies who sponsor ASNA. Those are companies who want to make relationships with actuarial students. Go on their websites. There are some companies who are hiring their 2021 summer interns right now. I've seen the postings. But if those postings aren't up yet, you can still set up job alerts at all of those companies just to make sure that you don't miss it. Your resume is still valid regardless of the degree that you're getting, regardless of the school that you go to, but you need to make that little bit of extra effort to actually know when to apply for the jobs. As much as I want to hire you, I can't hire you if I don't know that you exist. The key things is to A, show a demonstrated desire to really become an actuary. If you haven't passed any exams yet, write on your resume that you have an intention to take actuarial exams in the future. Companies hiring actuarial students aren't looking for people who are just looking for a random generic summer job. We are looking for students who are trying to become actuaries. An explicit intention to become an actuary is something that will really make a difference between a quick no and a maybe. Whatever your past summer jobs were in sales, working at a store, working at a summer camp, flipping burgers at McDonald's, guaranteed you have some sort of a transferable skill that you can put on that resume and play up that applies to the actuarial profession. If you're interested in skills that we're looking for from actuarial students that you could play up on your resume, I could try to put together that video. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something that would interest you. Thumbs up this video if you want to see more actuarial content from me. Follow my new actuarial Instagram account if you want to support some mediocre Instagram content. Subscribe for more actuarial videos. I love you guys. Thank you for calling. Bye.